Hello everyone, welcome to Train, where we make AI simple for you. My name is Kieran, and I'll be your instructor for today. In today's episode, we're going to show you the groundbreaking technology of agent creation within Microsoft Copilot. Before we get into any examples, you may be wondering, what exactly is an agent? Well, an agent can be defined as an entity that can take actions autonomously in a designated environment to achieve a task. A more simple way of putting it is, agents are helpful tools that can complete tasks or jobs for humans by itself to help streamline workflows. This agentic type of AI will definitely start to become more common in businesses as agents basically can complete tasks that humans do. We think that's the reason why it's so important to stay ahead of the trends so you can learn how to utilize agents in the best way possible. Okay, so transitioning into agents within Copilot. Microsoft has released the ability of creating agents in Copilot Studio that can be utilized for project management, customer support, research development, sales and marketing, and HR, which we'll speak about in future episodes. For today's episode, we're going to focus on creating an agent that users can ask questions and it will scan through documents and Excel files within a SharePoint file. So let's get right into it. So here we have a SharePoint file that consists of many different documents on artificial intelligence. We're going to head over this option at the top here and click create an agent. Once we click that, it is going to show the sources our agent is pulling from, which you can edit or refine. Let's click the edit button to see the details of this agent and make some fine tuning before publishing. As you can see at the top here, this is the identity page. Here we can change the agent's logo and also write a description so users will understand how or if this agent can help them. For this example, let's change its description to this agent is created for employees to find information on artificial intelligence easily. Now we have that filled out, let's click on sources. This section allows us to add any specific sources we want this agent to be pulling from. We can pull from a SharePoint site URL or simply just click the plus sign to add any folders or files that we want the agent to pull from. For this example, we are going to leave the source as just this folder in SharePoint. Lastly, let's move to the behavior tab here where we can edit the welcome message, add starter prompts, and set this tone for the agent on how we want it to respond. I'll go ahead and edit the welcoming message and say, welcome, learn more about AI with this agent. Start a conversation by asking or selecting one of the suggested prompts. We will then change this middle option for suggested prompts to what is AI. You always want the first thing that users are seeing to get their curiosity flowing. Then lastly, we will change the instructions to provide accurate information about the content and the selected files and reply in a casual tone. Okay, so now that we have all that complete, we can see that Copilot gives us a test this agent pane on the right here. This allows us to test our creation before making it go live, which is always important. So I'm going to ask it a question just to make sure it is operating and say, what is AI? Just to make sure it gives us the response we're looking for. And there we have it. Everything looks perfect to me with a full explanation pulling from our files. Let's now go ahead and press save. And that's about it. Our SharePoint agent is officially up and running. We can now open up our agent and ask it questions as we have now created our own version of a chatbot with the information of our choice. I'm going to ask it, when was artificial intelligence created? And there you have it. The agent scanned all of our documents and came back with the information we needed. Lastly, we can click the share button at the top here to easily send it over to a Teams chat or even manage who we want to be able to access the agent. All in all, we love this feature that Microsoft has released and think Agentic AI will be the future of many businesses in the years to come. There are so many use cases for the agent we created today, spanning from new hire training information or even complicated financial formulas needed to be found quickly within company data. We're going to continue to create videos in the coming weeks on Copilot agent capabilities as we just scratched the surface today on how it can help. If you like this video, please click the like and subscribe button and see you next time.